Just got done walking in the snow. God damn that motherfucker cold. Just got done walking in the snow. God damn that motherfucker cold. Just got done walking in the snow. God damn that motherfucker cold. Cold, cold, cold. Hello everyone, uh, I'm here with another video and I'm slightly nervous about this one actually because um, I'm about to talk to some, about something that's very inflammatory uh, and annoys a lot of people, particularly in this very sort of right wing defending rich white men kind of uh, world that we live in, you know, let's preserve all of the horrible things that we had in the past and keep them as they are and I'm about to say something uh, that is not that. Um, and I know it annoys a lot of people. It is a very, very, very right-wing preservative society that we're living in right now. And honestly, I don't usually talk about politics on this channel, but um, I do want to shift to reacting to things that happen in the world. And plus, this is something that I've been wanting to talk about for a very long time um, because it's been going on for a while, actually. Okay, so right now people are um, protesting, they're writing, and I totally support that. I mean, <laughs> this is what happens when you continue to oppress people when they tell you to stop. Riots happen, and people fight back. But as a result of this, I actually want to talk about something smaller. Uh, the statues are being torn down right now. These big statue figures are being torn down, and the world isn't happy about it, and the internet isn't happy about it, and those people that I just talked about that make up most of the world right now, they're not happy about it. You're taking things from my past. I can't be nostalgic if you keep taking things that make me feel nostalgic. And I want to explain to you why that isn't actually particularly a bad thing. It's actually quite a good thing. So obviously the biggest issue that people have is that you're taking away my history. You're taking people's history. You're trying to wipe it away. I saw something on Twitter earlier where someone legitimately, genuinely said, uh, HBO taking away Gone with the Wind is wiping out history. Gone with the fucking wind. Yeah, people get very annoyed about this. Uh, obviously, I do gaming. People got annoyed that Battlefield 5 dare have women in it as if it's eradicating and wiping out history as we know it. It's completely. People are saying it's trying to rewrite history that a video game would have women in World War II. Who gives a shit? It's a game. Uh, yeah, this is how things go with this. However, history will always be taught. We don't need statues. We've never needed statues. We've wanted statues and we've used statues and they've always been a kind of thank you or a show of appreciation for something that people have done. Now do bear in mind with everything I'm about to say that yes, society changes a lot across uh, several hundred years. That's why the constitution is basically obsolete at this point. Statues are just one way that we have to kind of remember things. History teachers will always teach. They need a job. They need something to use their degree on. And they will always need time to fill in. And obviously, with everything that's going on in England, people are talking about Churchill and the potential for Churchill to be knocked down. Um, to anyone who doesn't know, he's, he's revered in England as one of the greatest Brits of all time, one of the greatest human beings of all time. Well, he's not. He's not that good. In, in fact, he kind of sucks. He was a chain smoker, a drinker, a bit of a fascist, um, absolutely, completely bigoted. He was awful. He was an awful human being. Yes, he might have helped us through World War II. I do think that it would benefit Britain a lot if they, during World War II, had said that we have this one powerful figurehead behind us, but who knows? I also think that if you're chain smoking and, and drinking all the time, that you probably won't be in a, the correct state of mind to command a team to win World War II, but there you go, they, 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 who knows? But yeah, let's say hypothetically that he did help us through World War II. Now, yeah, that's handy, and that's good, and that helped us be where we are today, and I know that people want to appreciate that. However, Again, statues aren't a history lesson. History lessons are, textbooks are. That will always be in the textbooks, whether it's right or wrong, whether he did what he did or didn't, or whether he did the good or bad that he did, it will always be in the textbooks and it will always be taught. If anything, education is getting deeper than it's ever been and there's more to teach and we're getting deeper into the matters than we ever have. Therefore, we don't need statues to teach us anything. If anything, they don't teach us anything because to anyone who hasn't been to that particular Churchill um, statue, it doesn't mean a thing, it doesn't matter. It hasn't taught them anything and it wouldn't even if you went to it. It is just a statue. However, what it is, is a bad influence. As I said earlier, it's a gift, it's a thank you, it's appreciation for something that someone did. Now, yes, he got us through World War II. He's also an awful piece of shit human being. The statue doesn't detail how he got us through World War II. We can't learn that. We can't learn exactly what he did and there's reasons we can't learn it. We can't learn exactly what he did during World War II, therefore we can't use what he did to our advantage. All we can do is use him as a figure to our advantage or 
to our detriment. And given that he was a piece of shit and a terrible human being, we're going to be using that to our detriment because he is now just an influential figure. That's all he is. He's no more than an Instagram model at this point because he's not teaching people his tactics. And even if he has, we've got them now. Like a recipe, creating a cake. We have those ingredients now. We know exactly what to do, but it doesn't matter. At this point, all he is is a figure of influence. So all we can extract from him, all we can take away from him is what kind of human being he was, what kind of person he was, how he dealt with things, how he got through things, what, what he did. And what he did was drink and smoke and bigoted things. That's all he did. And that's what we'll be teaching our children, the greatest living Brit. <laughs> fuck off. The greatest living Brit of all time is and what he did and this is what you should be living up to. And I don't think that's right. I don't think that's a good thing. You can still learn what he did, you can still learn who he is and you can still be told by your parents and your teachers and a series of textbooks that he got us through World War II and that he was a good general. But what you learn from a statue is that being a piece of shit, being bigoted, being an alcoholic, you know, all of these things, being that will get you a statue. That's all you learn from a statue, that that will get you a statue. And you can say the same for people who come into countries, wipe out entire families and take over their countries. Just completely brute force your way through peaceful people. The people who did that have statues, and that is the only thing you'll learn from the statues, which is why I think they should come down. Yes, I think they should come down. I don't think they should exist, so that we don't have these big plinths telling you, hey, if you come in and invade an entire country full of people and wipe them out, hey, if you're bigoted, if you're terrible, if you drink your way through a war and take all of the rations from other people, if you do all of this, you'll get a statue. And I don't think, I just don't think that's right. I, I don't. And that's why I think it's right to take down all of these statues. They're not relevant anymore. They don't help society anymore. All they do is spread a bad message. Anyway, um, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but I had to say it. I had to get it off my chest. So um, I guess that's it. I guess I will potentially see everyone 